If you want to bring intention and strategy into your prayer life, then I believe this video is going to be beneficial for you. So after being inspired by the Sister Readers Club, when I saw her video about her prayer Bible, I went and I picked up this inspired prayer journaling Bible. Okay, I loved that it could work uh, with my current system of Bible journaling. So this is a very beautiful Bible. And, you know, when I saw it saying inspire prayer, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that would inspire me to pray. So I love the gold lettering on the behind there. That's a prayer. I just love how this Bible is. It is by Tyndall. It is a very good Bible. So on the top here, I put tabs that I'm going to explain in the video. And then on the sides, I put some gold tabs so that I can be able to reference the books of the Bible very easily. I picked these up from Combox and I really love how they look together with this Bible because the Bible has gold lettering. So and as you open it up, the first thing that I did was put my daughter's picture there. When I saw the scripture that was written there, then thought of her, immediately got a picture and then I uh, pasted it there. Then I started to think about um, what are the desires that God has laid in my heart for her, which uh, first thing I want her to know God and through that um, know her own purpose and be able to make wise decisions and stand firm against the bad influences. So that's what I wanted for her. So I picked up some scriptures from Google. I went and I Googled um, these topics and then what the scripture says and then I wrote the scriptures down. Did the same for my husband. I took a picture of him, put it there because I wanted to be intentional about praying for him. Thought about um, the areas that I wanted to tackle in prayer. Thought about his legacy, thought about his faith, his work. Um, his speech and his faith and I then put it there. I also thought about the um, other people that I'm praying for. I'm going to show you in my prayer schedule just now, but also I'm serving in the ministry of um, New Life in Christ at church. So I then looked up scriptures on how I wanted um, the direction of my prayer for that uh, area and I looked up the scripture, then I wrote them down. So here I'm showing you that I tore off this uh, page where um, from my prayer journaling, from my prayer journal, uh, this these scriptures for different topics. So they are there and I can reference them when I'm praying for other people. But however, I want to put out a disclaimer there. I'm not one to just pull scriptures out of context. I love to pray some uh, scriptures that I've already studied and understand. So um, I won't pray them without studying them. So that's what I'm going to do. So coming here, we are looking at my prayer schedule. So the colors that I have, the six colors that I have represent the different days in which I'm going to pray. And then on Monday, I'm praying for my family. Tuesday, it's um, the body of Christ. Wednesday is my in-laws. Thursday is my family. Uh, Friday is, is I'm praying for the nation. And then on Saturday, I'm praying for myself. So I outlined it if, um, for me because I believe that we are responsible for our our area, our garden that we are given on earth. So this is my corner that I want to be intentional um, when it comes to the area of praying. So I'm just showing you through the Bible what it looks like. Um, I love this page for some reason because it shows you how you ought to pray. You know, to pray in faith, to to pray with where to pray for wisdom, to pray with sincerity, to pray um in faith and I love that it gives you the scripture. So this was actually designed for prayer. So I um I got this um for my kids as well, a different one. My teenager chose the very same one I have, but my other daughter chose another inspire Bible, but we planning on actually doing this on Friday and sitting down and and doing some coloring, which is very therapeutic in my opinion. Okay, so I'm showing you now that on Monday, 
uh monday is the purple color so when it is monday i will open up the scripture monday that's when i'm praying for my husband and my children and our home and homeschool so you see there in chapter three of proverbs so there i marked it with a gold pen um that's the scripture i would like to pray for my children okay and um you know, it says trusting in the Lord. So I can pray. Actually, this is what, something that I'm praying for all over my family for us to be a, a, a family that trusts in the Lord. So I will personalize the scripture. I then can write it on the margin because there's space to do that. Or I can continue to write it in my prayer journal that I have if I don't want to put it in this Bible. So these are the two tabs for my family so we can go again i'm showing you another tab so i tabbed those scriptures that i put in the front so like there i put my daughter's name and i put my other children there so when i pray i can open there and what i uh, what i like doing is i like to take time to study the will of god you know when it comes to our parenting the will of God when it comes to my role as a wife, uh, my husband's role, and how God wills us to uh, to steward our families. And I, I like to pray in accordance to God's will. I don't like just pulling scriptures out of context that I don't understand. And hence, um, this can be also used for Bible studies, right? You can take this as a topic and then you can study it and then pray so on tuesday it's the blue one tuesday is the blue tab so i've tabbed it on tuesday i have um my pastors that i want to pray for the new life in christ um ministry um other believers and christian friends and family that i have so same applies i will go to the blue tab I've already uh, marked it with the gold pen and then it's easy for me to find it. Then I can um, read it and hear what it, it says because faith does come by hearing and hearing the word of God. And it's important for us to pray in faith. So um, so it's going to be me reading the scriptures. So the, the scriptures that if I don't know them and I haven't studied them, I'm going to take the time to do so, so that I can pray with sincerity and I can pray with understanding. And then I'm showing you another one where um, the same applies. I've marked it out. So I love the system because it's going to be very easy and very convenient for me. So when it comes uh, on the day and I want to be praying for the body of Christ, I know I'm going to look through the bold blue tab and see that day. I might just take time out to see what God wills for us as believers and then start praying from there. Okay, so going back to the prayer schedule. So we look at Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be the yellow one. Um, and that is my, my in-laws. So I'm going to open again the yellow tab and then... I've marked it out clearly so I can then pray. So I'm also using my prayer journal. So once that is completed, then I can start writing the prayers in the margins of this uh, Bible. So that is why I'm saying this, this system for me works with the system that I already have. So I'm not deviating from me prayer journaling but I've actually added to what I have been already doing. So Thursday is the orange that is my um my, my my other family uh, from my mom's side and my dad's side and then i'm going to then open up the orange tab on that day as i remember them and then as i i bring petitions on their behalf before the lord then i will just look at those um the scripture that i've marked read around it read the whole chapter understand what it says then I can pray to God regarding that matter. Okay, so this is very helpful. This is um, going to enhance the way I pray. What I love about it is that I'm not going to be praying the same thing every single time. 
Then on Friday, it's going to be the green one. The green one is the nation. I'm praying for South Africa. I'm praying for the community in which I live. I'm praying um, for the world. I'm praying for the unsaved world as well. So anybody that is unsaved that I know, um, I'm just praying for those people on that day. I'm praying um, that the nations of the world will become the kingdom of our God. So um, just showing you how I've marked it out. I even wrote there, pray for South Africa. So right now I'm, I'm loving um, Psalm, Psalm 67. I'm going to show it to you, Psalm 67, as a prayer for the nation, right? It is That Psalm is just in my heart to pray for the world, um, to pray that Psalm back to God for our world, Okay. So I'm showing you right there um, all the green tabs that I've marked out. And then I know on the day when I'm praying, um, it's going to be very easy for me to reference. Okay, so there's Psalm 67, the prayer for the nation, um, already tabbed out. So I can go in there, the uh, Psalm I've studied before. So um, it's a, I'm really, when I read this, I was very, very, very convicted. So I do believe our prayers need to be led by the Spirit, right? The Bible says we can make our plans, but it is God who establishes our steps. I am totally, totally for that. In as much as I'm, I'm doing this, it's not, it's not me uh, now going to do this on my own and disregarding the fact that the Holy Spirit is my helper. But again, you know, we can take it to both extremes. It's not me being passive about my prayer life and, uh, and passive about my, my Christian journey and saying the Holy Spirit will help me. You know, the Holy Spirit does expect us to do our homework and then he comes as a standby and he comes and helps us you know, and steers us in the in the right direction. And I believe me creating this is because of the Holy Spirit, right? Um, because it's some, I was sitting on a weekend and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. And for some odd reason, I had been given money. I've been, I had been gifted money and I didn't know what to do with it, right? So I prayed about it and then I, it took days. Then this other day I saw, um, this is the reader's uh, video on my feed. Then I watched the video. Then, you know what? I decided that day I'm going to the bookstore. Then I went to the bookstore. Then I perused the aisles looking for um, a Bible. I thought I was going to buy a compact Bible like the sister reader did. And then as I perused the aisle, I came across this Bible. I looked through it. I was like, wow. This is exactly what I need, right? Because right now I'm prayer journaling. Right now I'm looking for a creative Bible because I'm loving the whole, uh, you know, coloring and the whole craftiness and all that. So I wanted something like this. And at the same time, I was looking at uh, creating a prayer Bible. So this was just perfect 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 for the system i already had so the tabs i got from pna which is a stationery shop and um, they were very inexpensive they were less than two dollars uh, it was 26 rand to be exact so at the back here i plan on putting a picture of my other children actually the whole family so i want to go to the print shop and print the photo on my phone and put it there so another interesting thing I love about this Bible is that at the back here, there's an index of design scripture verses and inspired prayers. So um, like here in Genesis, Genesis 426, there's an inspired prayer. So all the prayers that are in the Bible, this Bible has highlighted those prayers, either put them on the margins so that you can see, um, you know, so that they can inspire you to pray for somebody, pray for yourself or what have you. So here at the back, you have the privilege of just writing a name of somebody that, you know, you've been, when you saw that scripture, you thought of this person, so you can write the person down. And you can do that for all the books of the Bible, just write it down. And it's so nice to just then later on when you've done that to reference and go back and read those prayers. So I'm loving, loving, loving this Bible a ton. So I'm just going to go flip through the pages, show you what it looks like. I love the fact that it's got some vellum tip-ins, 
you know, with um, some beautiful prayers that were written by other people. This Bible, I'm telling you, is, you know, when I saw it, I was like literally um, so, so happy and so impressed with it. So my children and I are planning on sitting around the table on Friday evenings and just coloring, journaling in our Bibles because they also have... um, Bible journals now, journaling Bibles right now. So we're going to do this whole thing together. At least when my children take out their coloring book, I can take out my coloring book and then I can color alongside of them. And this is going to be a fun activity for us as mother and daughters. So I want to encourage you to use what you currently have. I'm not in any way saying with this video, go buy this Bible. If you really like it and you have the means to do so, by all means, go get yourself a Bible. But if you don't have, don't feel bad. Use what you have. I believe God is a provider. So he always gives you the things that you need in advance. So in this season, this is what I need. Uh, This is what I desire. And this is what I have. But in the current season that you are, in just look at what god has given you so i also wanted to show you um the pens that i'm currently using in um this bible i got the the pens from kumbox um i've used them to write in the bible and they don't bleed through which is nice um i am planning on getting some nicer pens for bible journaling so if you have a recommendation i would highly appreciate it if you left the recommendation in the comments down below i am still gonna add tabs as i go along um because i believe this is a bible that is going to grow with me so i didn't want to bombard myself with a lot of things up front i was just preparing it for me to use it accordingly but as and when i go I will still continue to add even as i grow in the word as i grow in my knowledge of the will of God for me and the people around me. So just let me know what you are using and how are you preparing for effective praying in the year 2024. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So if you haven't seen my prayer journal video, then I would recommend that you watch that next. Bye.